स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर फिट एंड फाइन चिल्ड्रन एज यू ऑल नो वी आर लर्निंग हाउ टू डेवलप श्रद्धा इन आर सेल्फ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द सेम टॉपिक इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट आर रिचुअल आर रिलीजन हाउ मच दे कैन हेल्प अस टू इम्प्रूव और टू डेवलप दैट श्रद्धा in our self today we are going to learn about the traditions tradition which you can see uh, in india because india is a vast country and it's also having a uh, variety of religion variety of rituals variety of uh, cultures are there so uh, children because of these cultures they are having lots of tradition lots of things that we are following in india so children how the traditions will help us to develop our shraddha okay children so uh, as you all know children india has a diverse and distinct culture that has been developing for thousand of years and various from religion two region here is a brief overview of the culture and tradition in india children children i am going to show you something i am going to tell you about this that india is a, a rich heritage and rich culture because of this the traditions are you can see in india more and more than the other countries okay children so let's see that how much this values or these tradition will help us to improve our shraddha children india is considered the birthplace of some of the world major religions buddhism hinduism jainism and sikhism today other religions such as muslim and christianity have worked their way into the population as well though hinduism remains the most popular in india and if we will see the language language which also playing a important role to develop tradition being the world second most popular nation after china india has an extensive range of language the constitution recognizes 15 regional language but hindi and english are recognized as the official language there were well over 1000 dis- dialects spoken in india children so because we are talking about the uh, traditions so whenever we are uh, talk about tradition there are few tradition to wearing a cloth different way because uh, india has uh, you can say many variety or diversity everywhere so that is why the cloth system and everything clothing are different to each other so if we will talk about architecture so taj mahal is the most well known example of indian architecture as you all know this is the symbol of love and arts arts is also a part of our tradition that indian art often referred to as uh, you can see in the film industry is located in mumbai maharashtra india bollywood films are known for the elaborate singing and dancing the golden age of the hindi cinema was from the late 1940 to the 1960 indian culture is unique and though modernity has occurred over the years the people of india remain rooted in their rich heritage okay children so that is how our tradition works and we are following the tradition because these tradition uh, surely inculcate values in ourselves if we will see 
why these culture and heritage and you can see tradition are important for us. So, children here you can see traditions represent a critical piece of our culture. They help from the structure and foundation of our families and our society. They remind us that we are the part of a history that defines our past and shapes who we are today and who we are likely to become. Once we ignore the meaning of our traditions, we are in danger because children traditions are important for our overall development. So, if we are not thinking about it, so it is the alarming sign for us, we are in danger of damaging the underpinning of our identity. Tradition contributes a sense of comfort and belonging. It brings families together, enable people to reconnect with friends. Because if you are celebrating something, so we must invite our relatives and that is the time when we meet our relatives. Tradition reinforce values such as freedom, faith, integrity, a good education, personal responsibility, a strong work ethic and the values of being selfless. Children tradition, tradition suppose you are touching the feet of your elder. So, this is showing you, this is reinforce faith, integrity, a good education. You are showing the humbleness, you are showing or paying respect to the elders. So, children tradition reinforce values such as freedom. When we are following the our tradition, so we feel freedom in that. We feel faith in that. Integrity. Why integrity? Because we are coming from the different families. We are following other religion. But if our tradition are telling us to celebrate something together, so, that is showing the integrity children. A good education, tradition, those who are uneducated people, illiterate people, they are also celebrating or they are performing some tradition. Although they are not literate, but still they are performing rituals in a very accurate manner. Why? Because this is also gives us a good education. Personal responsibility. Children, if we are following tradition, so we will inculcate personal responsibility, the sense of personal responsibility. Okay? Now, a strong worth ethic. These tradition, why this is important? Why? The values we are going to inculcate in that because after performing, after emerging these uh, tradition, we will develop a strong work ethic and the values of being selfless. Children, that is why this tradition are important to develop in our personality. Tradition provides a forum to showcase role models and celebrate the things that really matter in life. Tradition provides a forum to showcase role models. It means that traditions are showing us the path where we should perform, how we should perform to show our culture or our rituals. So, this is called tradition to celebrate the things that really matter in life. Children, tradition offers a chance to say thank you for the contribution that someone has made. So, children, 
if we are following tradition and this is the chance if we offers uh, tradition offers a chance to say thank you for the contribution that someone has made tradition enables us to showcase the principles of our founding fathers celebrate diversity and unite as a country children tradition why this is important because tradition enable us to showcase the principle of our founding fathers founding fathers mean those who are uh, gave their uh, contribution to establish so founding fathers and celebrate diversity children as you all know that we are living in, in this society in the uh, indian society and indian so society has uh, many uh, you can see many culture many rituals are there and they are diverse in all the ways but if we are going to celebrate something together so it is showing the integrity of our tradition so that is why celebrate diversity and and unite as a country okay so tradition serves as an avenue of the creating lasting memories for our families and friends children okay so uh, tradition serves as a avenue of the creating lasting memories for our families and friends tradition offers an excellent context for meaningful pause and reflection so children here you can see how can we recognize the sacred develops shraddha in our culture heritage and tradition why do we do namaste when we greet people oh see what it say on the internet the indian greetings of namaste or namaskar comes from the sanskrit word namaste namaste which means i bow to you the word namaha is supposed to reduce your ego pride in the presence of another wow i will be more conscious when i do namaste next time now children here if we will talk about because this conversation is given over here and this is our tradition to say namaste to are well known or unknown people those who are stranger so children why why this is common in our uh, country because this is originated from sanskrit word and when we search or nowadays you can see that namaste is very popular because of the covid pandemic because nobody wants to shake hand at that time that namaste what what we are following that is universally accepted children so that is how you can see our tradition is universally accepted why children because of its beauty because of its integrity because of its sense so children be proud to be an indian because indian always set an example for the world now grandpa why do we wear this thick on your forehead flick on the on your uh, tilak on your forehead what does it signify so children if we are wearing a tilak on our forehead so that boy is asking why we are putting tilak on our forehead so this is the symbol of our uh, you can say our uh, aastha 
in our God because this is the symbol of that. So children, these are our tradition that we are following children. Now here you can see, learning the values or importance of my tradition. Why do you pray before eating? Why does it mean for you? In my family, when we pray before eating, we are offering our food to God so that He can eat before us. For us, it means. Now here, join Aniket and his friend in his discussion. Praying before eating means different things to different people. Here are, uh, you can see there are different religion, different concept, different uh, uh, cults are there, but still they are offering God their food first. They are, they are offering uh, the first thing, which first salary, first, uh, uh, you can say first everything, which are first in their life, they are used to offer to the God, not only food. So before eating the food, why we are praying? Because it shows our gratitude towards God. Because God has provided us this food on our table. So that is why we are offering prayer before eating our lunch or breakfast or dinner. And here are few system or culture or you can say ritual that we are offering our food to the God also. God will not come to eat your food, but this is the motto behind this that we are going to show our gratitude. We are just offering first because uh, the God's respect in our eyes or in our life is most high. That is why we are doing this. Because God is provider of food. That is why we are offering food to the God first. Because everything comes from Him to us and He is a provider. So that is why we are offering our food or praying before eating our food. So this is our tradition and this is universally accepted. If we are offering our food to the God first and after that we are going to eat this. So this is universally accepted because each and every religion having their concept that everything comes from God. That is why all the religion of our country or universally it is appreciated because it is also coming from the other religion also. They are also uh, praying before eating. So this is how we can use the tradition to show the integrity. Thus, I too can awaken my possibility of recognizing the sacred, developing Shraddha in our cultural heritage and tradition by being aware of the important tradition, sanskara of my family, religion, state and country. And then learning the values or importance of my tradition children. Now children if you will see, here you can see taking blessings of others of elders now if we are taking blessing or we are serving our elders or we are taking care to our elders or old ones those who are living with us or those who are staying in the old home uh, old age home uh, places so if we are serving over there if we are paying respect to them so we are uh, always be a part of their blessing. Now here you can see 
taking blessings of elders. She always takes the blessing of her grandparents before beginning anything important because she believes they matter to her. So this is our tradition also. In Indian tradition, if we are paying respect, if we are bowing, bowing, bowing uh, in the front of our elders, so that is showing the respect. And this is also a part of our tradition that we are serving our old people, our aged people. So here children, you can see one example is given over here that if she, it means the person who is, uh, you can see in this picture that this girl is always uh, taking the blessings of her uh, grandparents. Why? Because jo hamare buzurk log hote hai, wo aapko ashish hi dete hai. Hai na? To ye jo ashish aati hai, jo blessing aati hai, wo unke man se nikalti hai. Because you are uh, showing respect first. Or before going to start any work, you should take the blessing of your elders. So, that girl is showing that that girl's belief that uh, her grandparents before beginning anything important because she believes they matter to her. So, this is our tradition. Now here, respect for books. She expresses her love for knowledge and learning by taking great care of her books. She doesn't like anyone's feet touching her books, etc. Here children, because this is our tradition that we are not touching our books with our feet. Why? Because we are respecting these books. Because uh, these books are giving us knowledge. Knowledge. Why this is uh, knowledge is important for us because this is the gift of God. That is why we are not touching these uh, books from our feet, but we are taking care of them. This is important children. Now children here you can see Guru Shishya Parampara. Now here she touches her dance teacher feet before beginning her dance performance because she has accepted him as her guru and she seeks the learn from him. So why we are touching feet before doing anything of gurus? Because they matters. They matters in our life. They are mentors. Okay children. So that is why because of their blessings we can perform well. So always seek the blessing of your elders, always seek the blessing of your guru, always seek your blessing from your parents because this is very very important for us and this is our tradition also and this will work children in your life. Now children here you can see practicing the tradition that I have accepted as valuable. Children, what are some of the tradition you practice because you believe they are valuable? This is the matter of thinking. We will discuss in our online classes why these are, these tradition are valuable for us. What are some of the tradition you don't practice even though you believe they are valuable? Why don't you practice them? So this is also a question of discussion. Why we are not practicing this? Why we are not accepting these? We should do whatever our tradition are telling to do. We karna chahiye. Hame बड़ों का आदर करना चाहिए हमें बड़ों से आशीष लेनी चाहिए हमें अपनी पुस्तकों का 
हमें अपनी किताबों का ध्यान रखना चाहिए क्यों रखना चाहिए क्योंकि वो हमें ज्ञान देते हैं ज्ञान से हमें बुद्धि आती है और हम अपने को और भी ज़्यादा और भी ज़्यादा बहुत ज़्यादा हम अपने आप को विकसित कर सकते हैं आत्मिक तौर से मानसिक तौर से शारीरिक तौर से बिकॉज ऑफ दिस बुक्स Why this girl is seeking the blessing of his uh, of her guru? Why? Before performing, she seeks the blessing of her guru. Guru. क्यों? क्योंकि वो उसके mentor हैं. उन्होंने उसको सिखाया है. और जो सिखाया है, उसकी blessing वो लेना चाहती है. Before performance. It is a good thing, children. We must learn. that we should take the blessings of our elders our gurus it will work now children if we will say blessings of elders hold a lot of meaning in our life they are probably most significant and valuable for me for us as compared to all the other expensive things in life i am or we are living so far away from my for our family that i miss these even more why any elderly person gives me blessing i feel i have a connection with god it's a different kind of feeling when we are able to bring a smile to our family's member face so that is the you can say this is the cause of happiness in today's world the concept of family is losing its value we are forgetting the wisdom and the lesson shared by our previous generation maybe we just don't have time for them we never consider talking to an elderly person a waste of time no children we should talk we should spend time with them because we are going to learn so many thing okay so it's a blessing to have a lovely loving family it's an honor to have people around you who love you and respect you who are there to wipe your tears and hug you when you need it it's a beautiful emotion if you are paying respect to your elders children respect the elderly people because you will get old too take out time for them no matter what each wrinkle on their face recite the story of a decade those lessons are more precious than diamonds those are the pearls i'd like to collect throughout our life so children this is important now if we will see in this uh, clip recognizing the sacred developing shraddha in our cultural heritage and tradition by first we have learned being aware of the importance of tradition sanskara of my family religion state and country so children these three things are cultural heritage and tradition okay so here being aware of the important tradition sanskara of family religion and state learning the value of or importance of my tradition and practicing the tradition that i have accepted as valuable now giving due regard to the tradition that others practice my mother is a pure vegetarian so even though i eat non vegetarian food outside i avoid it at home to regard our feeling on this this is also a matter of thinking just yesterday you were telling me that god is everywhere 
then why are you removing your shoes outside this temple? Worshippers here believe it is important to keep the uh, uh, scaredness of this place and I respect that. So children, these are our tradition. This is very important for us and we should follow without hurting anyone's feeling. We should respect to each other because this will give us, uh, you can say, politeness, humbleness and it will clean your heart. That is why you will become uh, more spiritual and more sacred. So children, with this note, I would like to conclude my video. We will talk more in our online classes. We will discuss few things in our online classes. So children, we will meet again. Till then, goodbye and take care of yourself.